Daily Broadside Day 234. Every time we have an election, it just gets more and more frustrating about how we all vote. It's There's there's 8,000 different boards of elections that all get to do it their own way, and there's no standardized version. I think we should go away from everything electronic, everything pencil-based, anything like that, and just have an old-school medieval like mechanical machine that you go out and you pull like a, a lever like in a dungeon and it automatically goes up to a series of cogs and gears that go to a scoreboard above the facility that the whole world can see well somebody just voted for dan Smythe for uh, soil and water conservation and it just keeps a score it's a scoreboard and you can ride around and you ride downtown and you can see oh look look who's winning you know and it's all mechanical and it can't be screwed with by either side and then there's just no no problems with it and all across america we just have election scoreboards and it would be awesome plus everything that's mechanical it doesn't break well i mean if it, it when it breaks it's easy to fix you know you could get a tractor from sitting in a field for 700 years the thing will fire right up you do the right things to it it's amazing um you know plus cooler i've been on five cruise ships in my life um 20 of which have sunk to the bottom of the ocean the very first ship i ever sailed on the ss galileo galilei <laughs> Um, which sailed out of uh, Wilmington, North Carolina back in the day. Um, it was just a little converted ship from like the 60s that somebody bought in the late 70s and turned into a cruise ship. Uh, minuscule by today's standards, but to a you know 11 year old or whatever I was, uh, pretty cool. But uh, it sank off the coast of like Singapore or Malaysia or somewhere like that back in the, I don't remember when, the 90s, something like that, maybe 98, 99, something like that. And all, and I say that to say this: uh, I don't care about anything that's at the bottom of the ocean. Once it sinks, I don't think about it again, unless I'm making a broadside. And so, to the to the article that I saw the other day about how uh, soon the Titanic wreckage may not be out there anymore, I, it's been 110 years. Why do we care about this stupid ship that couldn't even last a week on the high seas? It's like it's like a floating Yugo. If I could, I think we should pour more iron eating bacteria into the ocean so that stupid wreckage can go away and if it's on some kind of shelf or plateau down the ocean i say we send james cameron into one of his stupid little pods go down there and shove it off the edge so it'll go even further so nobody else will find it Ah, oh, it's so dumb that, that we um like fantasize about how great some of this crap is it's like a five mile debris field of crap that no one should care about. It's stupid. It's stupid. If you miss the Titanic and you think it's this just uh, just amazing uh, storied story in American history, you're an idiot, okay? It's dumb, okay? Go look at a modern cruise ship. If you were to see the Titanic in today's terms, you'd be like, the hell? It's like looking at Bezos' uh, yacht compared to like a skiff, a dinghy. <laughs> That's some funny words for boats small boats and uh so yeah uh, I, I wish that more fish and sharks and whales and crap ate metal so that that thing could just disappear from ever uh being in the human conscious uh or at least the american conscious because probably people in zimbabwe and uh uh Tajikistan probably don't care about it uh you know and if you use a circular saw and you put something in the guard to stop it from not being a guard um I, I think you deserve to have parts of your finger cut off at high speed because those RPMs don't play. Um, it's there for a reason. It's not that big a deal to just pull the thing up a little bit to start your cut um, if you need to, but it's it's there for a reason because when you set that thing down and it goes into your leg or something, um, it's on you, buddy. Um, and maybe that's what we need, in fact. Uh, uh, I don't know, but that's where we're at with that. So good day.